Uncivilized Vitality, uh, let's talk about uh, fire and light tools for just a, a short video. This will be one of the short ones. So you should always have in your pocket uh, some way to start fire. I keep a little ferro rod in my wallet. I always have a little miniature flashlight in my pocket, depending on what I'm carrying. And I always have this. And this we've done a video about before. It's just a disposable, just a disposable Bic lighter. And around the Bic lighter, I've attached a little shock cord with some high-vis duct tape. And under this little piece of inner tube, this Ranger band, I've got coiled about two or three feet of, of uh, waxed candle wick. So I can take that off, cut a little piece off, and use that. I've got tinder kind of built in. All right, that's always either um, carabinered or dummy corded to my body, and it's in my pocket uh, or in my, my pouch. Besides that, I keep a small ferro rod or large ferro rod in my cook kit. I have one in my wallet as a backup. Sometimes I um, carry one in my belt. I have this Dynamis, Dynamis belt that's got these little pockets, and I keep a ferro rod in there with a little ceramic striker. Um, I never want to be without the ability to start fire. And toward that end, something you'll see commonly in our videos with a lot of the UV people wearing is our medicine bag right so uh, one of the the best sources of medicine in, in the broad sense that you can have while outdoors is the ability to start fire if I lose my pants for some let's say I take my pants off I'm swimming in the river and I don't know how would you lose your pants <laughs> bear takes my pants I don't know pants are gone don't make that face pants are gone belts missing wallets gone with the ferro rod and my lighter so I've lost two ferro rods and my lighter I have my medicine pouch on me, even when I'm swimming, because I've kind of waxed and, and waterproofed this. And then I keep this on one of those loops. I just keep that uh, around my neck, okay, so that I have it with me. And in this little medicine pouch, there's a couple little cords, or a little purse, these little purse strings. Inside this little waxed leather bag I made, and uh, maybe we'll do a video on how to make one of these. Let's do it now. Inside this medicine pouch, I keep three little Bigfoot Bushcraft Tinder plugs. I cut those in half. I get six fires started, a miniature ferro rod, ceramic striker, and a little whistle, titanium whistle, all from Wazoo Survival Gear. So this little miniature self-rescue and fire kit stays with me in this little medicine pouch I made in case my other fire starting sources have gone. So this is how I made the, this pouch. This would be real simple. I just took a piece of leather, folded it in kind of a, an elongated rectangle, cut the corners, punched little holes, and then laced that together with a method I probably should show instead of explaining. But I'd go in, uh, let's say the holes are numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. I'd go in hole one, and then from the back side, out hole two, and then this side, down through hole three, and then out through hole four, and you go all the way down to the end, make sure there's an odd number of holes punched, then you turn around and come right back through the holes, and if you've spaced it right, you will have lacing on both sides, and you just tie the knot off at the end. Do that up both sides, wax or waterproof your little pouch, flip it inside out, and now you see the seams are hidden. Now you've got this little medicine pouch. And then I just, again, I cut a few holes at the top and just weaved some cords through there so I could pull it tight in a little pouch. And then this little, these little strings give me the ability to, uh, I can carabiner that to my belt. I can keep this in my pocket. It's nice and soft so that if it's on me and against my skin all the time under my shirt, especially in the, the winter, I don't worry about it getting to the point where it uh, irritates or when I'm laying down. So that's what I do. I put my little fire plugs in a bag. I wrap that plastic bag up just to keep them a little more waterproof. They're already waterproofed, but uh, a little more won't hurt. Put my whistle ferro rod right there on that bag. Little fire striker, striker sits down like that, little ceramic fire striker. And then I slip this into uh, the pouch. 
There's plenty of space in there still for a couple of other things. Like sometimes if this is what I'm going to be um, wearing as my backup when we're out on the trail, I'll slip a little bit of cash, maybe a $20 bill in there. And then I have this little pouch, little medicine pouch or a little fire poke, whatever you want to call it. Keep that in my pocket. If uh, <clears throat> we're out and I've got other fire sources in my pockets or in my pack, sometimes I'll take this like I had earlier today, and I'll just thread uh, a little loop of cordage or paracord through there, slip that over my neck, drop it down the front of my shirt, and now I know, especially in the winter, I do this, that no matter what else, I've lost my pack, my pouch, uh, my pants, my pack, my pouch, my pants. That's an alliterative uh, disaster. If I've lost all that, I still have my medicine pouch on my body, and I can start a fire. So uh, that's it for this video. Leave some comments below and explain what you do for your fire source redundancies. Do you carry just one big ferro rod and hope you don't lose it? Do you carry uh, a lighter? Are you the kind that goes out with two lighters, six ferro rods, a bow drill set, a magnifying glass, you know, all that sort of thing? Uh, leave that in the comments below. Like the video, share the video, uh, turn on the notifications. I always forget that one. And um, try to get somebody else to subscribe to the channel. So the channel's doing real well. So thanks to everybody that's subscribed so far. And as the channel keeps growing, I'll try to do, um, I'll try to do more videos uh, along the lines of some of the things we get in the comments. Not the trolls, though. We just ignore them, although sometimes they're funny. And uh, I forget what else. Uh, Rendell would say smash the like button. I guess that's it. All right, bye.